and there was no winner after last night's Powerball drawing, which means the jackpot has soared to an estimated 900 million. And Tuesday night's Mega Millions drawing could give someone the chance to walk away with a $640 million payout. Queen City News reporter Shakira Speaks breaks down the chances of winning. Probably pay my debt off first. <laughs> Probably give some to my mom and dad so that we could get out of here. So, but I don't know. Help out wherever I could and probably go spend it on silly stuff. One lucky $2 ticket purchased at this food lion in Mount Holly gave one person $1 million in Friday night's Mega Millions drawing. But since no one won the jackpot, the new prize for Tuesday's drawing climbs to $640 million as an annuity or $328 million in cash. The $640 million jackpot ranks as the seventh largest in Mega Millions history, causing people to try their hand at the pot. I asked a few people, so what are they gonna do with the money, with the jackpot money? They said, um, some people they say they're gonna buy a house. Majority they say they're gonna move out of state. They don't wanna tell anybody else. They wanna pay the bills, something like that. Mark Mushako, the executive director of the North Carolina Education Lottery says they've seen lots of great wins recently in both games and they would love to see a jackpot win happen in North Carolina this week. Ticket sales from draw games make it possible for the state lottery to raise $2.5 million a day on average for education. Last year, the lottery raised $929 million to support education programs. This chart shows how the amount of money raised has grown since the start of the lottery. That was Shakira Speaks reporting. The odds of winning the Powerball jackpot are 1 in 292 million, and the odds of winning a Mega Millions jackpot are 1 in 302 million. So you're saying there's a chance.